Okay, so one of, one of the best ways to test the CAD network is using an oscilloscope. You can use a multimeter, but the multimeter is limited to a point. So the best way is to look at a, an oscilloscope. Here we have a scale, this um, vertical line, it says scale from 0 to 5 volts, horizontal, this is time. What you will be able to see, if the network is asleep, you're going to see two lines across here indicating that the network is asleep. So when you turn off the ignition, the computers go to sleep, you're gonna see zero balls coming out both the high side and the low side. Remember that the high side and the low side, they switch from 2.5 volts. If the two lines are shorted together, you're going to see two lines on your scope like this, both indicating the 2.5. If the network is working properly, you want to see a waveform. The high side will switch from 2.5, like this, to 2.5, this could go up to 2.7 volts. The low side will switch from 2.5 down and it'll mirror the high side. And that is your communication network, that's your binary code. So this represents your zeros, ones, zero, one, zero. Your binary code. This is where the information gets sent and received within the computers. From a technician standpoint, what information is being sent and received is really doesn't matter. As a tech, a tech you want to know do you have activity on the network if you have a no communication issue. So this is the network that's going to be able to display on the waveform. You're going to be able to see this specific waveform. The low side switching from 2.5 and below and the high side from 2.5 and above. So the low side can go to 2.3, 2.5 to 2.7 volts. I'm sorry, that was the high side. The high side can switch to 2.5 to 2.7 volts. The low side to 2.5 to 2.3 volts. And it will add up to the five volts. Both the high and the low should add up to five volts. Okay, so here we have an oscilloscope that is connected to our breaker box. Our breaker box is connected to the OBD2 connector. Here on the breaker box, we have two channels, which is the low side, terminal 14, the, the high side, terminal 6, and the ground for both, for both channels. And if you look at our screen, I'm gonna put this right next to the screen so you can see what's gonna happen. This is normal communication. That is, if you look at the waveform, the high side will switch from 2.5 and up, and the low side will switch from 2.5 and below. And both of them should be able to add up to the five volts. This one is dropping from 2.5 to around 1.5, and this is from 2.5 to around 3.5. And if you add them up, that's gonna equal five volts. So that's what you wanna see. So this is your binary network. The, the ones and the zeros, this is where it's sending and receiving information. So if you have a no communication, you wanna make sure that this is happening. If this is not happening, then you have a problem with your network. If there's a problem with the network, I'll give you a couple of examples. If both of the, the network, both of the lines touch together, if they touch each other, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put this connector here on my low side and I'm gonna connect, connect this to my high side. Both wires touching together. You're gonna see approximately around 2.5 volts from each one. So on the low side says 2.5, the high says 2.5. And you will roughly see almost a straight line. That indicates that the network is shorted together. Now this could happen on the vehicle, if a computer shorts out internally and it touches both terminals together, you're gonna to see this waveform. So in order for you to find out this problem, you're gonna unplug one computer at a time. 
So every time you unplug a computer, look at your waveform. If the waveform comes back, then you will be able to know which computer is the one that's affecting the circuit. So if I unplug a computer that is the possible problem and your communication comes back, you found the computer that's affecting the circuit. But if you unplug every computer on that circuit and you still have this 2.5 volts, that means the computers are not your problem. That means you have a wiring problem. The problem is within the harness. So you have a short, and those two wires are touching together from the network. The highs and the lows are touching. That's what, that will indicate they have a wiring problem. With every module, it's disconnected out of the network. And if you're still measuring the 2.5, it's a harness issue. So let's give you other scenarios. That's our network, again, working properly. If the low side, if the low side gets shorted to ground, so I'm gonna come here to my low side, pin number 14, and if I short my low side to ground, this is the waveform that you get. Now you have the low side almost at zero volts, it's trying to switch, but it stays at zero, and my high side is still switching. It's still trying to switch to the five volts. Remember, because they, they have to be able to switch and they should add up to five volts. That's why on one, the low side, you get almost zero volts and the other side, you get almost the five volts. And if you hook up your scope and you get in this pattern, that tells you that there's a problem with the network. What kind of problem? Your low side is shorted to ground. So let's give another scenario. The network's back up. If the high side gets shorted to ground, when it's shorted to ground, you get both the low side and the high side at zero. It's still trying to switch, but it stays at zero. So if you connect your scope and you measure in zero volts, you could potentially have one of the terminals shorted to ground. Which one? In this case is the high side. If the high side gets shorted to ground, the low side also gets switched to ground. So you, once you hook up your scope and you see the waveform, you will know exactly what is going on with that network. Is it my high side that's the problem? Is it my low side? It's all based on the waveform that you're getting. So if I remove my ground from the circuit, the network comes back up. So that's why it's important to hook up a scope and be able to see and it will give you a better idea of what's going on with the network. Are they shorted together? Are they shorted to ground? If they are, which one is shorted to ground? The high side or the low side? The waveform will give you a, a very, very good idea of what's going on with the network. Now, if I turn off the ignition, so I'm just gonna turn off the ignition right now. And it will take a couple of seconds for the network to go to sleep. What you're going to be able to see is that they will stop switching and they're gonna start from around 2.5 volts each and then slowly volts is gonna start to drop. There it is, 2.5 volts, both the high and the low. And then they switch to around one volt. Once the modules completely go to sleep, you're gonna see zero volts. So if you connect your scope and you're measuring, because this could also indicate that you might have the modules asleep that's why you should be able to look. You'll be able to see a slight fluctuation if, they're trying, if the network is awake and you have a short. But eventually, after a couple of minutes, this is gonna go straight to zero. But that might take a couple of minutes. So that's what's important to know. When you hook up your scope, you might see straight line, but you might get confused that, if, hey, my high side might be shorted to ground. But take a couple of minutes and you should be able to see. And if I turn on the ignition, network wakes up again. So that's the way for you want to be able to see.